Hi everyone, today I'll be sharing with you how to make Lebanese Naish at home from scratch. We're going to be making the bread and also a za'atar and cheese topping. Normally had for breakfast with a cup of tea, but you could have it any time of the day. Without further ado, let's make this in a dash. Add 200 milliliters of hot water with one tablespoon of sugar and one sachet of yeast. Mix well and then cover up. For this recipe, we're going to be making 18 Naish pizzas. However, you could adjust this recipe to suit you. Put the yeast mixture aside. In a mixing bowl, add five cups of bread flour, one teaspoon of salt, mix that in, and four tablespoons of vegetable or sunflower oil. Mix this well, and now it's time to add your yeast mixture, and also add 200 milliliters of hot water with two tablespoons of yogurt. The yogurt is optional. Give everything a good knead until it turns into a smooth, supple dough. Depending on the bread flour you're using, you might need to add more water or flour to get this consistency. Cover the dough up and the flour needs to rest for a minimum of two hours at room temperature. After at least two hours, the dough should be ready. We need to degas the dough and knead it once more. And now we're ready to make our um, Naish bread. Roll the dough in three inch balls. And just put aside. Once all the dough is rolled, it's time to make our Zatar mix. Add some za'atar to a plate. With a generous amount of olive oil. Mix this well. And your za'atar topping is done. All we need to do now is flour the surface and the rolling pin. Get our dough and roll it. We roughly need to roll the dough seven inches. Preheat a flat pan on medium heat and drop your pizza dough on the pan. Cook the pizza dough for around two minutes and then flip over. Add one tablespoon of our za'atar mix and spread on the pizza. I would recommend no more than one and a half tablespoons of za'atar because a little goes a long way. Cook for an additional two minutes, fold, flip and cook on the other side. And there you have it, your naish all done. Let's make a cheese naish now. It's exactly the same process, we cooked the dough on one side, flipped it over. Now we've added some cheddar cheese and some mozzarella. This is a great mix. Cook this for two minutes. Fold. And cook it on one side, folding in on the other side till the cheese is melted and you've made your cheese naish. And there you have it. Sprinkle some black seed on the cheese. You could have it with tea. It's absolutely delicious and you will love this. I hope you've liked this video and I'll see you again in the next one.